What's up guys, this is Tim Wilson from Tim Wilson UK and welcome to the Genesis Open brought to you by the PGA Tour at the Riviera Country Club. This is round number one. We are playing this on PGA Tour, oh sorry, not PGA Tour, uh, on the Golf Club 2019. And we are using the course that is in the game uh, that somebody has created. I believe that it's a pretty good rendition. Um, it's got a fairly, it is handicap rated and it's got a fairly high rated, so we've, de high rating, so we've decided to go for that. Right, straight down the middle, opening drive. I thought the driver may be a little bit too long. So I decided to go for the three wood off the tee. Looks like it may be the right option. That is going to reach the green. How much past the hole is it going to go? No, that has worked out absolutely perfectly. So we're on the green in two, on the opening par five, and we have an eight foot putt for Eagle. And that's an Eagle on the first hole. We are playing against the the players that are in the game. I haven't gone to the extent yet of changing all the names because that is a very, very time consuming exercise. And for those of you that have been following me for a while, either on this channel or on 58 Degree, which is now closed down, you will know that um, <clears throat> I've only just started playing the Golf Club 2019 on this channel. I was focused on playing it on 58 degree, but I've decided to now move across to this channel. So if you are watching this, having subscribed to 58 degree, make sure that you subscribe to Tim Wilson UK because 58 degree will be no longer very soon. I have chosen hard difficulty for the opponents, the AI opponents. I found that very hard is pretty much too hard you, you you literally struggle to to beat them at all they just completely run away with it so i've decided to go for hard difficulty i am this is i'm playing this on my single player season so i'm hoping to keep this going and that's another birdie so we're going along nicely at the moment currently tied first with N. Carrick from Scotland. Hole number three, 437 yard par four. Stroke index 13. Should be able to get over that bunker, no bother. I'm playing, playing with the pro clubs, for those of you that, uh, that are interested. I do use the flick method. And that's why you won't see a full swing line. I do change things up a little bit when I'm playing on TGC Tours. And that is purely so the API doesn't disqualify me. But when I'm not playing on the TGC Tours, I do revert back to my old swing method, which I've become really, really comfortable with over the last... Ooh, six years now since the original game was released. Well, there was a lot of movement in that short putt, but uh, we have got a par. Let's move on to the next hole. It's nice to see that the creator of this course has actually put all of the hospitality tents uh, the grandstands, the crowds, it does really add to the atmosphere when you are trying to recreate a proper event. Let's see if we can, this is a par three, it's a long par three. I think we're gonna struggle to get there with this club. I think that's gonna come up short. In fact, it's definitely gonna come up short, <clears throat> but I think the three wood was gonna be too big. 
it's not the end of the world. Got a flop shot here. Let's see if we can pick up the par. Round number one, we've got an early tee off, and that's why you can see this uh, haze or this mist hanging quite low over the course. That didn't move at all. So that's a bogey on the par three. It's going to drop us back down to two under. I will at some point take the time and go through the entire field of uh, of players and recreate those with the proper PGA Tour pros that are in the official World Golf Ranking. Just to try and make it a little more realistic. So obviously we've got somebody at the top of the leaderboard that is completely fictional and it would be better if it was somebody that was a genuine PGA Tour golfer. Should get some run up. Trolled on a little further than I wanted it to, but that's okay. Let's see if we can pull that bogey back now. Wow, look at that swing at the end. That almost turned 90 degrees. Three feet, we're going to tap that in for the par. Still one behind the leader, I believe. No, wow, Carrick's dropped two shots at some point there because we were one behind. It was quite good that I hit the rough there because it took all of the pace off of the ball. Alright, we pick that shot back up, go back to three under par. Hole number seven, 409 yard par four, stroke index nine. Now right in the middle of the difficulty range. drive 123 to the flag I think I'm come up underneath the hole yeah we are underneath the hole so that's good once more we've got quite a bit of movement on this putt Still three under par. Hole number eight. Par four, 434 yards. Relatively easy at stroke index 15. Not too long either. Should get a good bounce here. Over 300 yards. So we should have a, I was gonna say nine iron, possibly even a pitching wedge. The nine iron's gonna be good here. Got a little bit of roll out there and the slope took it over to the right hand side. Oh, and it 
just grabbed it. It just grabbed it. So that takes me to four under. Hole number nine. So this is the closing hole on the front nine. Par four. Fairly long one at 454. Hundred and seventy seven into the flag. Let's have a look at the slopes. I think I might chance coming in with a seven iron here. It could come up short, but I'm hoping it's gonna land on the front of the green and then roll up. Which I think I've got pretty much spot on. Oh, all right. We are going to be picking up a birdie there, so we are now five under through nine. Nobody really that close. One under the closest to me. <coughs> Excuse me. That's unusual, there's another green down there. <clears throat> Should have a flop shot here. There we go. 47 yards. lofted this just to try and give it an extra few yards that's going to be absolutely I was going to say it's going to be absolutely perfect but it's rolled on a little bit pick up the par Move on to hole number 11. Another par 5. Over 600 yards, so this is going to be a... A hole we are not going to be reaching into, that's for sure. It's all about keeping this in the fairway. I haven't seen any water on this course, I don't think. Which is quite interesting. Okay, we should have a pitch shot into the green now. Yeah, 63 yards. With the greens being quite firm, the putts do roll on quite a lot. Alright, we still pick up the birdie though. Move on to the next hole. <coughs> hole number 12. Fairly long par 4, stroke index 8. It looks like it's straight down, but we have a really, really narrow fairway. And the wind has completely died. Three yards. I'm going to come in with a five iron here. Hopefully, get it to run up towards the flag. Yeah, once more, it's rolled on a fair amount. It's rolled on another. Five yards past the flag, well that's okay. Little short. I 
pick up the par and move on. So we are still, I believe, way out in the lead, yeah, by five strokes. Uh, Carrick is finished and in the clubhouse, but Fletcher still out there on hole number 12. In fact, probably playing with me as his playing partner because we have just finished the same hole. Right, I was a little hesitant with that one, wasn't sure well whether I was going to run out of fairway, but that uh, that worked out okay. A little bit of a slope there. So we've got to hope that this uh, this club will get us up that slope. I think it will. Yeah, it released just enough to get us up that slope. Yeah, you can see we're just at the top of the slope there. That's a nice birdie, 14 feet. 7 under par. Par 3, 183. Nice looking golf hole this one. Playing 193 today. Oh, I've yanked it. Really yanked it. And we're in the crowd. <laughs> From there, that's a fairly good recovery. The question is, can we pick up the par? Wouldn't be ideal to get another bogey, but we're in. Whew, good save. All right, hole 14, we've got four to play. Hole 15 is a long par four, playing 485 yards. Okay, nicely away. Got a long way to go here. Uphill lie. I'm going to play this as it lies and try and get this ball to just roll up onto the green. I'm not sure. I didn't check whether there was a false front. <coughs> Excuse me. It looks like there is some kind of little slope there. Okay. That'll give us the par. So Fletcher's fallen back as well now. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, number 16, par 3. Pins right in the front, so. We come up short, we're in bother. I've added a few extra yards onto this one, hoping that that, uh, that club's going to get us there. It is, 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 Two holes to play. Let's see if we can get to double figures. Got a par five here, so good opportunity to try and pick up a birdie. 574 is a long one, so I don't think we're going to be getting there in two. It will all depend on how well this drive goes. Just shy of 300. So we're going to have, yeah, we're going to have 280 to play here. We are not going to be getting there in two. I'm going to leave this in the nice wide piece of the fairway. Oh, 
Ooh, that was a bit uh, all over the place, but hopefully it will check up and stop. And that's going to leave me with a birdie putt of about, I was going to say five feet, and it is five feet. Oh, and I've come up underneath the hole. That is not a good putt. Five foot putt. Ooh, brutal. So we remain at eight under par going into the final hole. It's a long one, long par four. I was gonna say we should see that massive, massive grandstand. And we do, and we will see it even better when we are playing into the green. That is gonna be around 300 odd yards. Yeah, there's the huge grandstand at the end there. Really, really well represented. I don't want to go too long here, but I also don't want to come up short. Have I got the legs? I don't think I've got the legs here. don't think I added enough on. Did I? No, not quite. They didn't play that very well at all. Ooh, and that chip shot wasn't perfect either. So we have now got a tricky little 14-footer. I've had two or three of these 14-footers just to say par. Oh, and just skim the edge. So we are going to bogey the final hole. So here's me on 17 thinking two birdies and we can get to double figures. We are now going to drop back down to seven under par. But that's going to be a solid opening round. Guys, if you enjoyed this please hit that like button. Um, leave some comments in the box below. If you've yet to subscribe to the channel, please subscribe to Tim Wilson UK. And I will see you back here for round number two. See you soon. Bye now.